Hello and welcome to System Design Primer course. Today we are going to learn about components. Components which are the basic building blocks of system. Components could be divided into two parts, logical entities and tangible entities. So first, let's understand what are the logical entities that are responsible for making up a system. As you know, all the systems are built up of data. Data stays at the crux of all the systems. So how do we keep this data or how do we store this data? So any system would have a database. Databases are the core of any system and database is a technology which allows you to store the data so that it can be available to the users in a later run. Now that you understand databases, how do people or users interact with databases? You have to read from the databases, you have to write to the databases, you have to fetch the information, you have to store the information and there has to be some way of communication. So there is an application layer applications or services which you see in the form of mobile apps and desktop apps and websites are actually the logical entity that make up for the access to the system you can think of these applications as a part of code which is running on a machine and databases as a part of code which is running on another machine now these two machines have to interact with each other and that happens through communication protocols Communication protocols is another logical entity which makes the communication between different machines possible so that the components of the system can interact with each other. The way applications communicate over network via communication protocols like HTTP, TCP, etc. Similarly, application or services communicate on a software level with each other through components like request in the form of APIs, RPCs, which we are going to learn in detail in this course. Presentation. All the systems may or may not have a presentation layer, but the systems that do, the presentation layer that we see are actually the mobile apps or the desktop apps or the web applications. Although there are systems which do not have a presentation layer. For example, if you're making a logger or a logging system which just collects the logs of your application, it may or may not need a presentation layer. So again, the way system is presented to the user so that the users can interact with it, comes under one more logical entity of a system. All these components that we just discussed run on some computers or instances which are available by some cloud providers. So these instances together are actually come under the infrastructure requirements of a system, which is given by providers like AWS or Google Cloud Platform or Azure. Now that we understand the logical entities of the system, let's see what are the tangible entities or technologies that make up for these components. For databases, we have multiple options like MongoDB, MySQL, Cassandra, Redis, etc., which we are going to learn in detail in this course. Then for application and services or the code and their communication, we have APIs, RPCs, etc. For presentation layer, we have front-end applications which are built using frameworks like Ember, React, etc. For Android apps and iOS apps have their own native code bases in order to develop those applications. Given all this, for the security of the systems, we have certain security mechanisms and protocols in place so that our systems could be secure. The data could be saved in a secure manner and we could avoid the attacks. And all these uh, technologies are actually deployed or put on real instances, hardware instances or computers, which are provided by the cloud providers as we discussed. So now let's merge all these and look at this picture and try to make more sense out of it. Let's see a very superficial view of what a system looks like. So as we discussed, there is a presentation layer where the system could be presented, where the user can interact with the system happens through either a desktop app, website, or a mobile app, which interacts in the backend with our system, with the applications. Applications interact with the databases for the exchange of data. All the machines, applications, and databases are actually deployed on instances, physical computers, which interact with each other over these blue lines, which is network. These application code interact with each other through APIs, messages, which again, we are going to learn in detail. And all these are housed inside a cloud provider like AWS or GCP, etc., which is called infrastructure. This is a very, very superficial view. As the course proceeds, this diagram is going to get more and more detailed. 
but this is just a representation of what a system would look like and what are the basic building blocks of a system now that we understand how a system overview looks like and the components look like let's go back to our example of building and explore a bit more the way a building has walls floors terraces fire escape exit strategy electrical supply etc similarly a system is composed of applications databases caches load balancers client interfaces network request security layer and infrastructure we are going to pull apart all these components understand each of them in detail and at the end we are going to intertwine them together to build a larger system and that's how system design works that was a brief overview about components of system design let me know in comments if you know about more components that i might have missed or what do you think about this video in the next video we are going to talk about the first component which is client server architecture till then take care see you in the next video